Good morning. How you doing? It's Sarah. And I have little Riley here. This is Riley. Say hi, Riley. She's a Cocker Spaniel. She's a couple years old. I think year and a half, two years, something like that. Isn't she cute? Stand up. There you go. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. She's a sweet girl. Say hi, Riley. <laughs> hi. Um, she is just going to get the work today. Haircut, bath, blow dry. All that. Get all trimmed up and cleaned up. She's getting a little shaggy. Yeah. Get her feet real short so they don't collect all the, the wet rain and mud and all that. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're here with little Miss Riley girl. How you doing, sweet girl? Um, my GoPro needed to update apparently like right now, so I took that few minutes that it was updating and I just been brushing her out. So we're just brushing her all out, making sure she doesn't have any little hidden matting or anything tangles. Um usually I will do like just feet and nails and stuff and then do um, the bath and blow dry and come back after the blow dry and do the cut. But I think that I might do like a pre-cut. Hey, 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 I know, I know. The ears, yeah, the ears are hard to, hard to comb. It's okay. You're all right. You're okay. Yeah, we've we spent a few minutes just hanging out and she was saying hello to Gimli. There's Gimli. And, uh... And then while my GoPro is updating, I've been brushing on her, but she's like, <laughs> she does not like it. <laughs> she's not like it at all. She's like, leave me alone. So we've been, she's kind of like a little bit at the end of her rope with the brushing, but oh, I'm trying to go slow and gentle and not pull on her too much, but her feet and legs are a little, a little tingly. It's not too bad, but that's just because they get wet and they hold you know, the rain and the mud and dirt and stuff in their feet. So I got, I think I got all three of her legs, except for this one all brushed out. And she's, she's tolerating it. She doesn't like it, but yeah, she keeps like avoiding. Turn this way. Yeah, anyway. Good girl. Gotta brush her out. Gotta brush her out. Oh, look at those fluffy legs. Look at those fluffy legs. So pretty. Pretty girl. Yeah, the insides, the armpits, and the feet area are kind of like pretty bad. Yeah, I know. I know. So I think I'm going to clean up her feet underneath really good. Maybe between her toes and just try to leave the top layer. Um, so it looks all fluffy and round on top, but the underneath will be all cleaned up. Because that just seems like it's easier for them if it's shorter. Plus they've got a baby on the way. They got a baby on the way and we need her to be all, you know, low maintenance for when the baby comes. So, yeah, okay, but you gotta hold still for me, please. Gotta hold still for me. So she's pretty much primarily brushed. I gotta do the other ear and the rest of her face. Yeah, good girl, good girl, Riley. Yeah, I might try to do the cut. We've been growing out her, um, her skirt. I've had to, in the past, shave it all kind of one length because of some matting and just for low maintenance and stuff. But like this summer, you know, it was pretty hot. So, hey, hey, no, you're okay. Good girl, good girl. Yes, that's a good girl, Riley, good girl. Oh, yes, here, can you stand up for me? There we go, good girl. Okay, just be gentle with this girl. She's a little sensitive. But yeah, ever since the summer, I think, or the f late summer, we've been growing it out. So it's a little longer than it was. So I'm going to do a cocker spaniel cut today, or a field cut as they call it, except a field cut is pretty straight, and I'm going to try to blend it, kind of like this is blended, and cut this short and leave this long and blend that. And I'm not going to trim anything down here because we're just trying to, well, we're trying to grow this out so it's all the same length. But it's been, it's been a journey, hasn't it, little Miss Riley? She's been coming to me, I think, since she was about, like, six months old, maybe? Five or six months. And so I think she's a year and a half, give or take. No, 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 you're okay. I'm trying to be gentle. I'm trying to be gentle with you. Yeah, and you're making it difficult for me, aren't you? Come this way. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you want to lay down, don't you? How about we go this way? Here we go. Good girl. 
Good girl, this is time for brushing. This is brushing time. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often here, but this is brushing time. Good girl, Riley. No, 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 you're okay. You're okay, good girl. Good girl, yeah, there's some uh, some not matting, but just tingles in here. If you can hear that. Yes, you're okay, good girl. Good girl, Riley. Yeah, good girl. Yes, inside the inner forearm area. Back there. Okay, good girl, let's do your ear. And then we'll start with the cut, I think. Because uh, Cocker Spaniel's hair is so thick and it's hard to get it fully dry, even when I use a blow dryer. Um, and it's really hard to cut damp hair. So I might just do as much of the cut as I can and then bathe her and blow dry her and then just kind of touch up the rest. I think that's what I'm gonna do. tangly at the bottom here, the ears. I know, okay, I know, I know. It's not your favorite, I know, I know, sweet girl, yeah. It's not your favorite, I hear ya. I wouldn't want my face brushed either. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good, well we got a good of, bit of undercoat out. Um, I'm just gonna kinda check things with my comb because if we have any matting, then the buzzer won't go through. I'm not gonna cut very much off her legs at all, but just trim it up. Good girl, Riley. Yeah, there's some matting in there. In the toes. Not too bad, though. Good girl. Good girl, Riley. Yeah, that's a good girl. Girl, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did that pull? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know. Yeah. It's so fluffy though. You're so fluffy. Yeah, I think it's not as much matting as it is just kind of wet and tangly because it's combing right out and there's some undercoat in there as well. So sometimes the undercoat can gunk up things and it just feels tingly. Okay, okay, I know. I know, sweet girl. I know. The more we do it, though, the more you get used to it. Yeah. The more we do it, the more you get used to it and you can kind of just, you know, chill out. But if we can keep it pretty mat free, then you won't have any pain. It's just kind of annoying. Just kind of annoying, yeah. I'm gonna close this door. There's people in my house and it can get a little bit noisy. Sometimes for a grooming YouTube video, you don't wanna hear lots of extra chatter. Good girl, Riley. Yeah, these toes are kind of tangly. Good girl, she's actually handling this really well. She gets a little growly and lifts her lips a couple times, but I feel like it's mostly for show. <laughs> like she's just telling me, I don't like it, I don't like it. She just wants me to know. But she doesn't do a whole lot. Occasionally she'll put her mouth near me, but it's not bad, it's not bad. And so we just kinda back off that for a minute and then come back to it and she's usually pretty good. She's usually pretty good. Good girl, Riley. Good girl, Riley. I'm proud of you. Yes, she's gotten a lot better. One time, I think when she's a puppy, I think I had to put a muzzle on her because she was trying to put her teeth near me or whipping around, snapping, and I wasn't sure exactly what she'd do. 
But now that we've gotten to know each other, she hasn't done anything more than that. So I feel like I can trust her a little bit. But we will see. Good girl. Yeah, these ears are pretty good. It's a little bit tingly down here, so I might trim that up pretty short right behind her ears because that's where the mats come in. But she's doing pretty good. They've been really good about brushing and not ruffling her fur like against the grain so it doesn't, you know, start creating mats, which is really good. So I'm very proud of them for that. Doing so good. Doing so good. Yeah. All right. I think that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to do her pads and nails. I'll start with one foot and then I'll, I'll speed up the rest of it. Good girl, Riley. Good girl, Riley. Make sure my camera is in the right angle. And we want to clean these feet up really good because that pad hair on Cocker Spaniels is so thick and it just collects so much moisture and dirt and stuff and they can get pretty matted. So I'll just carefully get in there. So much hair comes out. <sighs> okay, what's the yeah, that's your hair from your feet. Yeah. It's okay. Come here, give me your foot. Clean up these feet really, really good. Good girl, Ivy. Good girl. Okay, hold still. <laughs> yeah, hold still for me. Yeah. All right, I might lower this actually because um, she seems to have a little bit of room to move around and to avoid me, <laughs> to avoid me holding her feet. So I'm just gonna lower my arm a tad bit. table a little bit. I buzzed all her pads, clipped all her nails, and then I cleaned out cleaned out the inside of her ears. I, yeah, shake it out. Buzzed out the inside of her ears really good. I don't want to touch the outside hair, um, but I wanted to clean that up so they're pretty clean. They don't have a lot of hair inside their ears, just around the outside, and it's really thick, so I like to thin it out because uh, they call it venting the ears. If you buzz the, the hair right down here, and buzz it out, you know, and get any long ones. It's called venting because that means that the ears can breathe. The ears need air, they gotta dry out. So these dogs with these long, thick ears, um, if there's a lot of hair in here that's real thick, they can't, they can't breathe and they can't dry out very well. So looks like there's a little bit of a mat right here. Ready? So let's see if we can get that out. So I think I will go ahead, I'm gonna start with her face. Um, but I think I will go ahead and do her cut 
before the bath. Yeah, that's that's in there, isn't it? Let's see what we can do. I'm trying to decide if I should use my thinning shears to cut it out or if I should just buzz that area. Okay, I know that hurts, doesn't it? Does that hurt? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to do that without pulling too bad. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think it's too bad. It's just a small piece, but it's pulling right in front of her ear. Yep, it's right in there. Okay, I got it with my comb. <laughs> Okay, okay, but you can't pull against it. Don't pull against it. Okay, hold on. I'll get it. I will get it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's see. Shall we see? Yeah? I'm going to buzz that anyway. There we go. We got it. We got it out, yay. Oh, did a little bit, okay. Alrighty, good girl. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the cut before the bath, so. We'll have less to wash and less to deal with when we get back, so. Um, I'm gonna do, I think, a seven, which is, um, I believe that's an eighth of an inch. Well, okay. There's a UPS guy. <laughs> okay, Gim. Okay, Gim, he's gone. All gone. He's all gone. Did you hear that too, Riley? Actually, I'm gonna go with a five. So a five is just a tiny bit longer than, um, I think a five is like a quarter of an inch. It was just a UPS. Let's see how that looks. That's a seven. I believe seven is an eighth of an inch and a five is a step up. It's like a quarter of an inch. And then a three is a half an inch. Three and three quarters is a half an inch. Here's my five. I had a great Pyrenees a few days ago, and can I smell? And I really tried to clean after he was all done, but the hair is like literally everywhere. It's just little tiny fuzzies everywhere. <sighs> so I did the best I could, but <sighs> can't. I mean, unless I just pick apart, it'll take hours. <laughs> So you just kind of get it as we go. It's clean for the most part, but just little hairs everywhere. Hey, baby girl, how you doing? <sighs> All right, we'll see how this vibe looks. <sighs> if we need to go any shorter, but it is the winter and I don't want her to be cold and sweaters as cute as they are, and I like sweaters, um, they do tend to mat the fur. They just do. Um, they'll rub and cause friction, and then if there's areas that have trouble with that, it'll just start to mat them pretty bad. I'm gonna put her over here. Come here, sweetheart, go this way. I'll show you right there. Okay. All right, let's see how it goes. This is the five. Actually, I believe oh, it doesn't sound very good. Could be just that it's ceramic, but I haven't used it very much. Sorry, guys. I guess I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Clean this thing out. Clean this thing out. I do twice a week. Usually a couple times a week. 
I'll just spray all these down even though like, I mean the, the blades and the scissors are one thing. I clean those more often and they're more, it's more important to disinfect those. But like the brushes, they just touch the fur and unless the dog is like super, super dirty, um, it's not really gonna transfer much. Um, so I, I'll brush them out periodically and clean them out. But I, that was a couple of days I think worth. Yeah, I think that the five might be good enough. Typically on a Cocker Spaniel cut, they will use a 10 or a seven on the body. Um, and I like it to be pretty short, but we'll see. I might go down to a seven. Because this five, I don't know, doesn't sound very good <laughs> and it's not getting through all the waves and so it might just need to be a little bit shorter. Is so thick it's not cutting through all this thickness here so I think we'll go down to a seven <sighs> it's okay Riley she's doing pretty good she's doing pretty good Maybe it's just my buzzer. <laughs> See, so the seven isn't even taking off that much more. It's just a slight bit of difference in length. So I feel like it's going through a little bit smoother. Take this off of you. I can take that off of you. But you gotta hold your head up. It's like a little ridge here where her collar was. Well, you're just gonna lay down, aren't you? You're gonna lay down. All right, I think we can work with that. Yeah. Oh, sweet girl. Sweet girl. Well, let's see your head. She laid down the last time we were doing her haircut and she took a little nap. Her hair is just so thick. Good girl. Good girl. 
Easy. Good girl. I want to get her eyelashes. I'm going to keep the eyelashes down while we do this. Good girl. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. I'll keep the eyelashes down.
is my little bath station at my sink here. Um, I've got a good place to tether the dogs and um, it's big enough to bathe like 20, 30 pound pups in here. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna use Eye Groom Gentle Clean Shampoo for the first shampoo and then Rainforest by Pet Silk Rainforest Shampoo and Conditioner. And then I've got the Hydra Moisture Conditioner and then the Flash Thermoactive Mask for the deep conditioning mask. Um, and protects her hair from the heat. And then I have Mr. Ben's ear wash. I'm not sure if I'll use both. I might mix these two and then put this on after and let it sit for a minute or two, just so that her hair is like extra silky and soft and tangle free when we're all done. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. back from the bath I've dried her a good amount with the towel but we're gonna go ahead and use the blow dryer she did really good so I did <clears throat> two shampoos and two conditioners and then the ear um, the ear wash um, I didn't end up using that last uh, mask just because I felt her fur and oh my gosh it felt so silky and then I used the metal comb to comb the conditioner through all of the hair and I let it sit for a really good amount of time probably five minutes or six minutes something like that which is kind of a lot for conditioner anyway so um I felt like it was pretty good so I'm going to grab my happy hoodie my little happy hoodie for the little guys and my Hydra Ultra dematting and finishing spray I'm gonna go ahead and saturate her well, saturate mostly saturate her fur with that because it'll just be that extra little it's okay uh conditioning that she needs and hopefully it will help with any tangles but i did comb through um her feet really well with the conditioner before i rinsed it out um i'm gonna put a lot of that in her feet because they were um they were a little tangly and it was having a tough time going through, so I'm trying to get a little bit on her ears. A little bit on her ears. Here we go. And the chest. It's okay. And then her belly. That's her feet. Okay. Pretty good. All right. I'll let that kind of soak in there. 
There we go. Good girl. Can you wrap it in? Massage it in. Yeah, this is a little bit loose. Um, and then we'll go ahead and give her a blow dry. And hopefully when we're all done, because of all that prep work, um, hopefully it will be super easy to brush out and comb. And then I can do the fine tuning of the haircut. Okay, this way, sweet girl. Um, yeah, and it should go pretty easy. So we'll go ahead and get started with the blow dry. the majority of the blow drying with um with the big forced air one and she did okay she just didn't like it in certain spots and then um I didn't want to overdo it on her feet or her face so I switched over to my hand dryer and did her ears and her feet and kind of just went over a little bit here and there so we're gonna give her a break from that we're all done and it's 3 30. Still a little bit damp in here, but it's not too bad and it will dry. It will dry. Yeah, good girl. She's like, I'm tired. I need a break. You need a break, and I don't want you to touch. She's like tucking in her feet. She doesn't want me to touch her feet anymore. She's so cute. So cute. I think we've maxed out on the patience, her patience with me today. Yeah, we did. We maxed out and she's kind of done. Clean your ears out with the ear wash, and then I used a paper towel just to kind of wipe out uh, what was left in there that I could get out. And there's a little bit of brown, a little bit of dirt. Not too bad, though. So got that out. I'm trying to check, make sure there's no tangles or matting in there. Good girl. So the blow dryer created a little bit of tingles, so I'll just brush them out. She's all fluffy though. You're so fluffy. Yeah, you're so fluffy. Good girl. This is like, you've brushed me already, and you've scrubbed me, and you combed me. Do you need to brush again? Yeah, because it just really tingles pretty good. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, Riley. I'm so sorry. Gotta go through this again. Yeah. I gotta cut the neck a little bit more on this side. Man, it really does tingle over here. It really does tingle. I might do a slight mist of this stuff again. Just a little mist, yeah. Oops, there we go. You don't want to wet it again, really. Yeah. Oh, I really need to get those out. The blow dryer kind of, it does a really good job of blowing this the skin and fur dry from the skin out. Um, and a lot of times it will detangle, but it it's such a, it's very much, uh, pressurized so 
Come here, you. Can you stand up? So it, uh, okay, stand up. It does blow the hair pretty hard, and so a lot of times it will tangle a little bit. But it's usually not bad. It's just, gotta brush it out. Hold still. Good girl. But I think her fur is just really that way. It's a little bit high maintenance, huh? A little bit high maintenance. I know, you're like, leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. I know, I know, I know. Go this way. If you're gonna hold your leg up. Okay, there you go. Good girl. I'll be gentle. Okay, I know, I'll be gentle. I'll be gentle. She's great. Perfect. It's really not perfect. 
and I have just like had the worst time trying to get her to cooperate with me. Oh, Rosie says she wants to say hi. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, but I've had to do some scissoring on her legs and feet. Because she didn't want me to buzz them, and then she let me buzz them once through, and then I had to do some more scissor work because I found more things that were not quite right. So it's just it's been a long day. Yeah. I mean they're basically done. There's just like you know little things here and there that I keep finding that are just a tad bit uneven or poking out. So I've just been kind of going around and around and checking in. Of course, every time you touch it, it lays differently and you see more things. So it's just going to be what it is. Easy gummy what it is. Yeah. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. Hi. Yeah. And her ears are so wavy that they look a little uneven, but it's not, not too bad. So I just, I left this length here and I just kind of trimmed this part a tiny bit just to kind of even it, make it look a little more straight. And that's okay. I'm trying to just make these legs look like they're straight <laughs> for the most part. But she's real wavy and, you know, she won't hold still very well. It's been, it's probably very comical looking in the, um, the time-lapse video of me cutting her, but anyway, it looks pretty good. It's just gonna be like, you know, a teensy bit of hairs here and there that stick out, so it's not perfect. <sighs> It's not perfect, but we did the best we could, right, sweet girl? Yeah. It's just sticking out a little bit. And it's hard to get like the right angle to cut it straight. I mean, you know, I'm not really a professional. I'm somewhat of a professional. <laughs> Definitely a perfectionist. But, uh, yeah, this is, it's tough for me to get it right. So, practice makes perfect, and we're doing pretty good. Right? We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Just kind of blend out a little bit. Oh, there's a mat there. Get that out. Yeah, get that out. Let me see. Okay. We got it. it. Wasn't too bad. Just like trying to blend down the, the skirt. I don't want to take off anything here, but I want to blend where the skirt matches to the to legs. Alright, well, that's the best I can do with this poor girl. She's she's very, very done with me. But I think that the legs being a little bit shorter will help maintain, there you go, maintain her coat for a little bit longer. And I can keep it. See, she wasn't wanting me to do this earlier, but I think she's just like, whatever. We're almost done and mom's on the way, I think. There we go. I know, sweet girl, I'm sorry. What's that piece is hanging out? There we go. Okay. Well, we did the best we could. Yeah, we got your eyelashes. We got your ears trimmed. Here we go. Good girl. Good girl. Look at those lashes. Your mom is on her way. She is. <sighs> I keep seeing things. But I probably should just stop. All right. 
Okay, do we put some bows in your hair? Hmm? Do we put some bows in your hair? The ears are looking a little like, when it lays straight, it looks a little too pointy right here. So, okay. I think we're done. Let me see. These are cute. These are so cute. What do you think, Riley? Hmm? I think I'll let you keep these Christmas bows because you put up with a lot from me. You really did. You gonna eat it? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's really cute. It's not laying down, but it's really cute. You eating the hair? Hmm? Okay, there we go. That's really cute. Oh, Christmas bows. Okay. Let's put all this stuff away and we'll come back and take a Christmas photo.